Hey YouTube, this is Tech Savvy Solution here. I'm here with a video tutorial, a full guide on how to customize your MyTouch 4G, how to get it rooted, unlocked, and get it working with ADB. So first, what we're going to do is install ADB on our computer. It's pretty simple. All you want to do is go to your internet browser, and I'll have this website in the video link description. And this is from theunlocker.com and it's a how-to on setting up the ADB so basically what you want to do first is download the latest Android SDK that link over here and once you download it then you want to extract it onto the C folder the local C disk and you'll have an Android SDK folder over here once you have it in your C disk then you want to double click on the Android SDK and then double click on the SDK setup.exe and then you just want to say yes and then this black screen will show up but shortly after you'll get a list of packages that should be upgraded and since I already upgraded them all I don't have any packages but you will so what you want to do is select accept or accept all and then install them if that pop-up doesn't show up you want to go to the settings on top here and then you want to make sure that the force HTTPS is selected and that will allow you to install the upgrades to the Android SDK so you want to make sure that it's fully upgraded to the latest version and then we can continue now for the MyTouch 4G there's a little extra steps that you want to that you would have to do in order to get your device recognized by the ADB um, by the Android SDK so then we're going to go to this next link and I'll also have that on the video description but it's basically a how another how to on how to get ADB recognized or how to get your MyTouch 4G recognized on ADB so what you want to do is go to your folder, your Android SDK folder from your local C disk, and then you want to go down to USB driver, sorry for the video quality, it's a little bit dark, get the brightness up, oops, there we go, and then you want to double click on the .inf file and then you want to scroll down to the first header that says google .nx, ntx86 and then right underneath the google nexus 1 you want to copy and paste this so you want to highlight it and just say control copy Oops. and then normally it would look like this okay it wouldn't have the T-Mobile my touch 4G but then after right after the Google Nexus one you want to go a line down and then press the semicolon on your keyboard press enter and then paste the file that we copied from the website and there you go and you want to do the same thing for uh, the header that says google.ntamd64 so this wouldn't be here So then you just press semicolon, enter, and then paste the same thing that we copied from the website. And then what you want to do now is go to file and save. And then you can X out of this, minimize it, and then plug your phone into the computer via USB. So here it is, it's plugged in. And then a pop-up should appear for your MyTouch 4G. 
and then what you want to do now is open the folder to view the files and in that file there should be a file called hcc-driver.exe and you want to double click that and that should install drivers for your device if you did it for the first time then um, this selection won't pop up, it'll just go ahead and install the drivers for you but no matter what you wanna at least say repair or if it's your first time install the drivers and then you would say next and continue with that and once that is finished then you're going to unplug your device there you go and then plug it back in and then make sure that USB debugging in your settings application USB debugging make sure that it is selected on your phone settings and then go ahead and plug it back into your computer alright and then on the bottom if you're on Windows 7 on the bottom probably on your toolbar there should be a little um, windows icon saying that it's searching for drivers and installing the drivers so it'd be reinstalling the drivers for your phone and then you would wait for that to finish and once that is finished go to your start menu and then type in cmd for search and then click on the first link the command prompt and then what you want to do is go down to C see if I can zero this in so you want to on the top over here you want to go to CMD or sorry um CMD is the command prompt my bad but you want to type in Android SDK backward slash tools slash ADB devices and then your device along with its serial number should appear on the command prompt and that is how you know that ADB will, will recognize your phone so now what we can do is unplug our phone and then go to this other link website that I'll have in the video description it is xdadevelopers.com and it has a pretty cool tutorial for how to permanently root and unlock your phone, your MyTouch 4G. So we're going to follow the first step and make sure that Visionary is installed on our device. So let's go to the Android market, or not, sorry. Um, Visionary was removed from the Android market so we will not be able to access it there. So the fastest way to do that is go to the internet on your window or on your Android device, my touch 4G. And then let's just do a new window. Let's go to Google. And then Google Visionary Root My Touch 4G Medaco. Alright, and we'll click on the first link. And we'll zoom in and click on this double arrow. And then we'll scroll down to download. It's a Mediafire link. And then we can click here to start the download and then on your status bar should be the visionary APK that's downloaded on your Android device so then we'll click that and you'll install it on your Android phone or on the MyTouch 4G I, I already installed it so I won't do it again but let's just go to settings and make sure before you install it that unknown sources is checked and then you'll be able to install it because we're installing a program outside of the Android market, 
So the you want to make sure you tell the phone that hey, it's okay to install this program. It's it's safe and stuff. So then before we open up Visionary, we're going to go up to our computer again. And again, I'll have this link in the video description, but we're going to download this link from Mediafire again. It's called gfree.zip. So we're just going to click and download it. And then it will show up on your browser and you'll just open it. I'm using Google Chrome, by the way. So I can just open the links just like that. And then, then we can go to Android SDK again. So go from your local C disk, Android SDK. And then we're going to double click on tools. And from tools, we can drag and drop these files from the gfree.zip. So let's click on the first link, or first file, and then go down to the last file, hold shift on your keyboard, and click so we can select all of them and just drag and drop, pretty much. Alright. So then we can X out of this. And then once we're done, we want to plug our phone back into the computer. Alright, so now that we're plugged in, we want to go back to the tools SDK. Android SDK, let's just go up a level so that we're just on Android SDK. And what we're going to do is hold shift on our keyboard and then right click and then select open command window here. It's on the top, I'm not sure if you can see. Alright, and then from here, we're going to type in the following commands. ADB space push space g free forward slash oh sorry g free space forward slash data forward slash local and then hit enter and then you should see the rate at which the file was transferred over here if you don't see it if it says that um the file is not location is not found then that means adb wasn't installed correctly on your computer or you didn't follow the steps below or up before to have your phone recognized for ADB. So after that's done, we can unplug the device from the computer and plug our phone. And then we can open up Visionary from our phone and then select Temp Root Now. And then it'll just take a little bit, and then once you're done, then we'll get back to the tutorial.